are the parties ready on people versus shoe? Your Honor, um, I know that uh, Mr. Shu is going to have some commentary. Um, may we approach? Um, I would rather we do everything on the record with Mr. Shu. That, that would probably be advisable. I agree. Thank you, Your Honor. Are we ready? Shall I call that matter, Mr. Collis? Certainly, Your Honor. Thank you. State of Michigan versus Jeremy Daniel Shu, case number 22F1, 270. Honor Armstrong, Assistant Prosecutor, on behalf of the people. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Stuart Collis, on behalf of Mr. Shu. Good morning. And I see that Mr. Shu is present by video conference, uh, apparently at the Washtenaw County Jail. Today is the day that is scheduled for preliminary examination. How do you wish to proceed, Mr. Collis? Your Honor, my understanding is my client wishes to go to preliminary exam today. However, my client also believes that he wants to either represent himself or with me as standby counsel or wishes to relieve himself from my services. I'm not entirely clear which after discussing this matter with him yesterday. However, those are the, where we're, that's where we stand at this moment. Thank you. Um, I, I need to disclose to the parties that I am, while not personally acquainted with Mr. Shu, I, I am acquainted with him as uh, I was uh, sued by him some years ago when I worked uh, for the Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office. I was uh, named as a defendant in a federal suit uh, that was handled not by me, or actually it might have been handled by me. Um, I guess that was one that uh, I did the civil litigation on. So I disclose that to the parties in the event that Mr. Shu uh, seeks to have a different judge on this case, uh, given our past uh, adversarial relationship. Mr. Shu. Um, yes, I, I actually was going to disclose that. And you, you did, sir. There's no, no disrespect towards the court. Um, you did represent that matter, and it was it was um, Washtenaw County versus, or it was Shoe versus Pollard is what it was. Certainly. So the, the question is, based upon that, um, are you asking me to disqualify myself as the judge in this matter, or are you consenting to have me act as the judge in this matter? Um, I would actually, I would actually ask. Um, this matter has been going on. My 14 day rule has been violated. There's been, a, there's been a couple other, uh, discrepancies in the matter. Um, the magistrate that signed the warrant heard me on the case. And, um, I, and I'm going to interrupt you. I often say, I hate to interrupt you, but I actually, I, I, I actually am interrupting you. So I can't say that I hate, there's a, a threshold question. <clears throat> that we have to yes. get because if you're asking me to determine something, um, I don't want to be doing that if you're seeking to have me disqualified because of our past adversarial relationship. Um, as long as it's as long as it's not adjourned for much longer. Well, I think I think I what I would do is if you're asking to have me disqualified is I would walk this file over to Judge Simpson. Um, yes. Yes. If you could do that, I would really appreciate that, sir. I'm sorry. There's no disrespect towards you. I have no ill feelings towards you. Thank you. Um, if uh, we're going to take a short break and I'm going to see if, uh, in fact, Judge Simpson can take this matter. So I'll be back in about five minutes. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. God bless you. Please remain seated. Yeah. I'm going to put that mask. So there's some clean hanging down on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go back on the record of people uh, versus shoe. 
That matter has been transferred this morning uh, to Judge Simpson. So Ms. Uh, it's Ms. Kirby, is it, and Mr. Collis, or was it Ms. Armstrong and Mr. Collis? Armstrong. Uh, yeah, Ms. Armstrong. So I'm sorry, but the two of you uh, will have to go to Judge Simpson's courtroom to handle this matter when everything's available. And Mr. Shu, you'll have to let uh, the corrections officers know. He, he's sitting right here, sir. He okay. can hear you. To, to the extent it was not clear, let me make a record that the reason um, that I'm granting the motion to disqualify myself is that I believe it was not just once, but twice, Mr. Su, Mr. Shu sued numerous members of the prosecutor's office. I was among them. Um, in my role then as chief assistant, one of my duties was to represent the office in federal civil court uh, proceedings, such as that one. Um, I did uh, do that, and I believe Mr. Shu was representing himself, so our correspondences were actually direct between Mr. Shu and myself. Um, ultimately, the federal court granted our motion for summary judgment and uh, dismissed, the, dismissed the prosecutors from that matter. I don't know what happened with the other defendants. There were numerous judges and police officers and other officials who had been sued. In any event, based upon my um, adversarial uh, position with Mr. Shu, I believe it would be appropriate for me to disqualify myself. Judge Simpson has agreed to take the case this morning. So the court recorder will, uh, to the, if you don't have it, the court recorder will um, text you the Zoom information so that you can log in to Judge Simpson's courtroom uh, when the time's appropriate. Thank, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Have, have a good day. Thank, um, like I said, I have no ill feelings towards the court. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Have a, God that's bless not, you. That's not how I recall our litigation, but that's okay. No, no problem, sir. Thank you. Okay. Hold on to one moment on the McGee matter. Let me see what we're doing. Okay, got Mr. Shu. Ready? They're ready on it. Okay, let me call that. Let's see what we're doing. Or it does call the case People State of Michigan versus Jeremy Shu. Hold on, I'm strong assistant prosecutor on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. Stuart Collis on behalf of Mr. Shu. This is the date and time set for a preliminary examination. Are everybody ready to proceed on this? Uh, not entirely, Your Honor. Uh, my client um, wishes either to proceed without me or as standby counsel. Uh, so I think that issue needs to be addressed first. Really, Jeremy? Um, actually, Mr. Collins has done a few things that I don't I don't necessarily agree with. Um, I'll say this, I'll, I'll proceed with the utmost integrity and respect for the court. Um, I believe that I'm more prepared to pr proceed than Mr. Collins is. Have you gotten all of the information that Mr. Collins has? Um, yes, yes, I have. Uh, very, very few phone calls. He played. He played a phone call for me, and I guess other than that, that's really the only thing that I've got. He allowed my probation. Oh, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jeremy. Mr. Collis, does he have copies of everything? If he's yes. going to proceed on his own. Your Honor, he had copies of everything before I was appointed. I had given it to him again. Uh, I started playing the phone calls for him at his request, and he cut me off yesterday, uh, refused to listen to anything more, told me that uh, his constitutional right to talk to his fiance uh, was being um, violated. I explained that there's a constitutional right to marriage, but that, of course, that he does not have a right to talk to his fiance necessarily. I also explained to him that he had a no contact order and that was an issue. He refused to listen to me about that and then basically hung up the phone at me at the jail and let me go. 
So, Mr. Shu, how are you, if I let you proceed on your own, how are you going to proceed today if you haven't listened to everything? Um, basically, I did. I did. Jeremy, I, Jeremy. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. Seems like every time I'm before you, you're before me, I have to remind you. How many? How long have we been dealing with each other? Almost Mr. two Cal decades. Yes, sir. And the one thing about me is, when you start doing stupid things, I'll just say call them that, for lack of a better term. I tell you that, right? Yes, sir. And you, you know, I'll be that honest with you. I appreciate that kind of that candidness. You're being stupid. All right. Well, Mr. Callis. Just listen. Just listen. You're about to go in. You want to go into a preliminary examination. Whatever happened with you and Mr. Collis on the phone, you haven't heard all of the evidence that the people have. How are you going to how are you going to represent yourself? You're, you're correct, sir. Uh, oh, I know. I always am. Um, I'll forego. I'll, I'll, I'll agree to let Mr. Collis proceed. But you have, okay. I, I appreciate that, Jeremy. And I think that now you're using your brain. Okay. But now the problem is when Mr. Collis tried to talk to you, you cut him off. And so therefore you, you can't, I'm sure Mr. Collis knows how to proceed with it, but there may be something you might be able to share regarding one of the calls or one, some piece of the evidence. I'm not presuming anything exists necessarily. That now it, it isn't there. So <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Um, if you would agree to let, let us have a breakout room, maybe that would that would resolve it. Your Honor, and I hate to interrupt, but I also want to make sure that everything's on the record um, that we did. The defendant does have another matter um, at district court today. It's the underlying domestic violence case that had the no contact order that prompted this one. It's set for final settlement conference this afternoon. We did make an offer uh, for defendant to plead to that uh, misdemeanor domestic violence, and then we would dismiss this witness interfering case. So I just want to make sure if that is being rejected, it's on the record and clear. I didn't do neither one of them, so yes, it's completely Okay, rejected. okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Jake, Jeremy, there you go. I'm sorry. Okay, so my understanding then, Mr. Collis, is that was communicated to Mr. Shu. Have you guys had a chance to talk about that at all? Yes, or was that part of the conversation and just... We, we talked about it in the very, uh, the very first thing that I brought to Mr. Shu's attention uh, last night. Um, Mr. Shu rejected it as he did today okay. without conversation, um, and um, that's where we are. Okay. So, so that matter, the underlying case. Is going to proceed to trial, the one that's before Judge Fresh. That is correct, Your Honor. All right. And Mr. Collis, are you representing him on that case? Yes, I was appointed to him on that case as well. Okay. I assume that the, the issues at the afternoon are going to be identical as they are here, whether Mr. Shu wants my services or not. Okay. No, that's not my case. I'm I understand. That's Judge Fresh. Uh, so,
I don't know, Jeremy, that you're going to be able to try to get, I mean, you got a lot of stuff kind of going on here. You got that final settlement conference this afternoon. You haven't really talked about this particular matter. You just made certain assumptions. And Mr. Armstrong, how many witnesses do you, is it just, uh, I won't say just the deputy, but the deputy is the, the witness that you have in this? Yes, Your Honor. All right. What I'm inclined to do is to adjourn this out to my next date because apparently, shoe, you just keep running out of judges to hear cases. So I guess I'm stuck with it. Um, and so my next date would be August 30th. I'm sorry. For a premium. Oh, I am. I can actually, because I'm covering for Judge Wash, I can do the 23rd or the 30th, whichever works for the parties. I will be out of town on the 23rd um, in, in, at a wedding, so I it have to be the 30th, John. All right. Is Deputy, Deputy Rabb, are you available on the 30th? Sure he is. He's working all the time. No, okay. I'm no, I'm, I don't know who he is. <laughs> Uh, we can't hear you, Deputy. Uh, for whatever reason, you're you're unmuted, but maybe you're not connected to audio. While he does that, Jeremy, if I put it out to that date, are you going to promise me you'll talk with Mr. Collins? You two, you don't have to agree. But you need to listen to each other. Um, I've been in jail since the 18th for, for all this. I, okay, I, I didn't ask that. Yes, I'm yes, I will. A different, a different thing. Yes, yes, I will, sir. So if I put it out to the 30th, I'm not, you're not going to come back here and I'm not going to hear all this mess that I'm hearing today. No, sir. Now, Mr. Shu, so that we're clear, you know what I'll do if somebody doesn't tell me the truth. So I'm going to take you at your word that you're going. You you know how I am, right? Yes, sir. I'm I'm the same way, and I appreciate the truth from this. No, no, we're not the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't flatter. I, I appreciate the part of the truth, just, just like the court does. Bird, what'd you say? I said, I appreciate the harsh truth, just like the court does. Okay. So, and Deputy, would you be available on the 30th? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, whatever the court needs, I can try to work that on my schedule. All righty. Thank you, sir. Okay. So what I'm going to do is adjourn this uh, preliminary examination out. I'll adjourn it then to August 30th. 2022 that I said it at nine that is before me it's likely that it will go in the afternoon however for your scheduling because it's a zoom and that's what we typically will hold those in the afternoon okay thank you Your Honor. and bond will continue I think it's probably better this way that way maybe the other matter can do whatever it's going to do and then we'll deal with this so Okay. Thank you, Honor. All right. Sure. Thank you, folks. Sure. Jeremy. Behave. I've I've been trying. Yeah. I've been doing my best. What, uh, the only answer to that is what? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the thirtieth. All right. So this one's ready to go.